Good evening, folks. This is Andy Pedraza with Special Effects Academy. We're on the start of the week session for September 5th of 2021 in the Forex Training Room. We will be going through our usual agenda, look at the prior week's results for currency strength meter, fundamental announcements on the calendar, a look at the major pairs on the daily charts, any setups we see in progress, and a few words in conclusion. Starting with the ledgers on the long-term ledger, not much change. I think we're down about 1% on realized gains for the week, but we ended the week with almost not quite $1,000 of open profit, which have yet to be accounted for since we don't tabulate those until the trades are closed. So we are riding a high right now. And well, we'll see where it goes as the market gives and takes. But right now we are carrying a very, very significant amount of open profit. On the intermediate term ledger, on the other hand, we did close out quite a few trades at profit. So we're up a little bit over 10%, I think closer to 12% on realized gains. So very spectacular week on the intermediate. And we still have open trades which are carrying profit at this point in time. And the short-term ledger was uh, pretty flat. I think we're up or down less than a percentage point. And we um, kept one trade open over the weekend, the CAD JPY long. Notes and opportunities for improvement. The Kiwi dollar has made one of its biggest moves in months across multiple crosses. And we have been riding the Kiwi for a couple of weeks now. So the New Zealand dollar is responsible for a good chunk of our open profits. Uh, Biden's approval rating is the lowest right now of any sitting US president at this point in their administration, barring two other presidents. So pretty much he's the third worst at this point in his um, tenure. The economy continues to show signs of weakness, but at the same time, US stock markets are at all time highs and making new highs almost weekly. So it's a little bit of a, um, a schizoid um, reaction by the markets. Uh, everything seems to be crumbling, but the stock market is doing great. Thank you very much. Relative strength meter for the week that just ended. No significant changes. The Australian and the New Zealand continue riding those highs. The Swiss had uh, another very bad week. The CAD is uh, more neutral than anything else. It gained against a few currencies, lost against a few. Uh, same can be said of the pound and the euro. They were neutral and the uh, dollar, uh, the uh, yen who were the clear losers for the week. So giving up even more ground. Fundamental announcement scheduled. We will be trading the Reserve Bank of Australia's interest rate decision. Monday night into Tuesday morning. Uh, we have Wednesday, the Bank of Canada's interest rate decision. And from the European Central Bank, the same on Thursday morning. <clears throat> and last but not least, we will have the change in employment out of Canada Friday morning, their labor report. With that, we move into the charts. So oil did a uh, nice bit of a recovery on the uh, for the week, ending the week pretty close to seventy dollars after having gone down all the way to sixty five. So, not a uh, not a bad uh, recovery there. Uh, with the currencies, all the dollar pairs went against the dollar. So, well, except the USDJPY probably <coughs> was the one exception. Uh, euro dollar is now booming for the last two weeks, so the euro gaining on the dollar significantly and breaking through several levels of resistance. The pound also moving against the dollar, not as briskly as the euro, but moving nonetheless and also breaking resistance. USDJPY is the exception. The uh, yen just can't seem to catch a break and is more neutral than anything else against the dollar right now, sticking very close to support resistance. The Canadian recovered against the dollar as well, quite nicely breaking support. And the Swiss, I guess we can call it another exception. Uh, it did gain on the dollar, no doubt about that, but not a huge move, more neutral than anything else. Uh, the Australian and the New Zealand, as mentioned, have been booming against the dollar. so. 
those are the biggest movers. And indeed, the uh, Kiwi has been the biggest mover among all the currencies for two weeks now and counting. With that, we move off the dollar pairs, Aussie Canadian, the Canadian losing ground against the Aussie. Again, the Aussie beating everyone out there except for the Kiwi dollar and not doing too bad against that one either. <clears throat> the Swiss losing ground, as we saw in the relative strength meter. So the Euro nicely beating the Swiss, but this is not a big move yet. Euro pound more neutral than anything else, but we did have breaks of resistance. Euro JPY, the yen, of course, as mentioned, losing ground against pretty much everybody else, including the euro. <clears throat> euro Canadian sideways, uh, pound JPY did a bit of a recovery towards the end of the week, moving higher than it had in a good, I'm going to say the better part of a month, but still more sideways than anything else. Aussie JPY, while the Australian booming, the yen dropping. So you see what happened there. It's been a brilliant move on the Aussie JPY moving up. Euro New Zealand, and again, the Kiwi being one of, or rather the biggest mover of all the currencies. So it is breaking support. It's also at the bottom of a sideways channel. So very interesting to see what the week will bring if it does continue towards the bottom or it starts reversing itself and crossing the channel upward. Pound Canadian sideways with both the pound and the cat struggling. And the pound Swiss, the Swiss struggling a lot more than anybody else and losing ground to the pound. The Australian against the pound, well, the Aussie has been gaining ground for a couple, three weeks now. And while the pound isn't weakening, it's still not able to hold its own. This is another one that is at a very significant level of support. So we'll have to wait and see how the week kicks off to see if this one is going to start testing resistance or is going to break towards the middle or even bottom of the chart. Setups in progress, as mentioned, uh, or as we saw in the charts rather, the pound does seem to be consolidating right now, trying to pick a direction. The US dollar looking dismal, the Australian staging a small recovery. We'll see if that can last because the Australian was coming off a a uh, very uh, long awaited period of weakness. The Swiss uh, pairs, of course, uh, the Swiss franc not having a good time right now. So it did lose ground against pretty much everybody else out there. And the Canadian is struggling as oil bounces up and down. So far it's holding on, but it's not looking like uh, we're gonna have a uh, move into strength anytime soon. That can change at any point, but that is what it's looking like right now. Uh, final words here in conclusion, it has been an atypical quarter. Usually the summer is not known for strongly moving markets. So this summer has already been the exception and it's definitely not ending with a whimper either. Some of the currencies have made their biggest moves in months in just the past couple of weeks. In particular, as we saw, the Kiwi dollar has really outshone everybody else giving at least 400 pips easily on most of its crosses. So always remember the past does not define the future and every trading day is its own little animal. That's why technical analysis can only take you so far, but on the plus side, it can take you far enough and uh, well, you can walk the rest of the way. So do not ignore what's been happening. Look at the charts, do your technical analysis, but don't expect that that's going to be a surefire recipe for what's gonna be happening tomorrow, next week or whenever. We have to adjust to the markets. The markets are not going to adjust to us. So that is it for this uh, start of the week. And uh, any comments or questions from anyone? Okay, we will be back again uh, soon for our first trading session. And that is going to be it for us today. Thank you very much, folks. And talk to you next week. Bye-bye. This chicken's more than me.